Hey folks, this is Denny from Therathink, and today we're going to go through setting up a Google Gmail account and a Google Voice number, and having that number forward over to your cell phone or your office phone, um, and a whole bunch of other kind of neat little tricks. So, you're going to go to gmail.com, and then you're going to click on the button down there to create an account. And then you're going to fill in the name, last name, your username, and password as well as the month that you're born and so forth. Now it's important here to use a real phone number. You're going to actually verify your account using your mobile phone. So go ahead and type that in. And then if you do have a current email address, you can type that in as well. And I just use an example for this. You'll need to also type in a little CAPTCHA um, there. Very easy to find and then agree to the terms and conditions and hit next step and again first last you want a username password your date of birth phone number current email and then hit next step now you're gonna actually get a um, a text so you're gonna go ahead and click continue and it will text your mobile device a six digit code you wanna go ahead and just load up that mobile text and type in the code and hit confirm and there you have it it's very simple to create a Google account and Google's account gives you access to create a Google voice phone number for free and the cool thing about a Google voice phone number is that it lets you give your clients a phone number that's not direct to you it's not just your cell phone or your home phone um, so this creates kind of an extra layer of arbitrage between you and your clients, um, which can be uh, potentially important depending on uh, what happens with your sessions. Um, but it's also great because it lets you set up one phone number for many different hours in different locations. So for instance, if you want to have a phone number for the weekends uh, and a phone number for work week, office hours and a phone number for after hours you can use one phone number your Google Voice phone number and set up your Google Voice account to do certain things based on the weekend based on the hours etc so right now we're just walking through the basics of a Gmail account and and just looking through and if you don't want to use um, your Google account for email you don't have to but you do need a Google account in the first place so um, I'm a big fan of Gmail uh, I've been using it for a long time um, and uh, I find it quite nice but it's up to you in terms of your personal preference for um, the account you want to use now of course if you already have a Google account you don't need to do any of the aforementioned steps here um, you just need to um, log into your Google account and then head over to the Google Voice page and so we're going to get over to that in just a second here. And quickly, there's a bunch of stuff you can do to customize your Gmail account and so forth. And this video will not be covering any of those things. So now you're going to want to load up the Google app. So you can go ahead and click on the tiles over there and click on more. And then even more from Google and it'll load up a new tab in your browser which will show you all of the Google products you have access to for free and um, I love Google Calendar, I use Google Drive um, and uh, I use Google Voice as well so you can go ahead and navigate to Google Voice just clicking on voice there you can also just type in a new browser voice.google.com and sign into your Google account and get started that way as well no big deal either way So here we go. You need to agree to the terms and service uh, for using Google Voice. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add a phone number to your account. And this is going to be the phone number, that, let's say your office phone number, the phone number that you want to, be, to get dialed when you hand out your Google Voice account. In this case, we're going to use the TheraThink work phone number. 
And what's going to happen is it's going to give you a two-digit code and it's going to let you call your phone to verify that it's actually your phone. So click on call me now, it'll call your phone up, then you just type in the code, in this case 27 when it's prompted, and when it's done it will hang up the phone for you automatically and your forwarding address will be added. And again, this is the phone number that is going to receive the call. So it's going to be uh, your cell phone if you want to uh, receive calls if you don't have an office phone. It'll be your office phone number um, in that case as well. Okay, so now we're going to actually create a Google Voice phone number. So this, this will be the phone number that you'll provide to your clients um, in the future. Now, I just typed in therapy to see if I could find a, a phone number that uses the letters therapy in it. And then 206, which is a Seattle zip code. And then 415, which is a, uh, I believe it's a Los Angeles zip code. And we're just going to navigate through, and you can see that there are a bunch of different options in terms of the phone number you want to use, etc. There's a bit of an error here, so we're just going to select a different phone number. But you would want to type in your zip code, most likely, for... Um, to select your phone number and that's really that that's it. It's that simple. So we now have a 415 phone number and We have access to Google Voice. Congratulations. So when you follow through this on this guide yourself, you'll be able to do this very quickly um, It's taken us a total of about seven minutes to get set up from start to to finish here and the rest of this video is going to cover some um, kind of more advanced settings that you can select so let's go and set that up right now so you can see that um, you have your work phone number that's added into the system in terms of what's going to get forwarded to. And it also will forward to your Google Chat. Um, and you can add another phone number if you want. So let's say that on the weekends you want to get called on your cell phone, you could add your cell phone here, go through the same process of verifying it, etc. And then in this demo, it doesn't want me to add some uh, fake phone number, so uh, we'll just go back. But um, in, in that case, you would want to go ahead and type in your mobile number, um, or your second office number, for instance, uh, etc. Now, one cool thing is that you can actually select when to ring a certain phone, including uh, times of uh, day, as well as on the weekends or not. So, um, in this case, let's say that we want to ring on the weekdays and never on the weekends. So, all you would do is just do that and update. And voila, there you have it. So, what you can do is add multiple phone numbers and have it so that um, one phone number will get calls on the weekends, one phone number will get calls during the work week, etc. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and actually record a voicemail uh, message. So you would click on uh, record uh, a new voicemail message, and then you would select the phone number, the actual phone, the name of it, uh, that you want to call, and Google will call you up and prompt you to record a voicemail and then hit pound. So you would, you know, it would say beep and then you would say, hello, this is Denny from Therathink. Thanks for calling. Please leave your name number and we'll return your call within one business day. And then you would hit the pound button. And then it would save the recording inside of your system. And really, this is all very straightforward stuff. This is kind of like what would happen if you were going to set up a phone, a landline, for instance, or, um, a voicemail uh, on, a, on your own office. And you can set up multiple um, uh, greetings for multiple phones um, as well. So depending on what's going on, if it's the weekend, you can say, hey, I will return your phone call on Monday, etc. And then you can, you can play them, you can uh, re-record them, etc. Go ahead and hit save. There you have it. Okay, so now you have a forwarding number and you have a voice recorded uh, greeting. We're gonna turn off call screening at this point. Um, and it's kind of a, a feature that goes to default with Google Voice and anytime someone would call your number, it would ask them to record their name. And it's kind of annoying. It's not the most professional thing to do. So we're gonna go back to settings calls you can see call screening is currently on we're going to turn it off and confirm
and we'll leave the rest of the settings here straightforward. We want for missed calls to get an email and get notified in our inbox, and those settings are automatically saved as well. So the final thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up a call widget for your website. And this is cool because you can put a embedded HTML element on your website that enables people to call you. Okay, a big old button that says call me. So we're going to name our widget, my, my website uh, call widget, and leave all the settings uh, defaulting. And that's where you could select maybe a different greeting. So thanks for calling my... Uh, my my office etc and then you just want to copy that HTML element and then paste it into your website and that's that it that's that's it for you guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial about setting up a Google account and setting up a Google voice account with uh, forwarding um, a voicemail and uh, and uh, multiple recordings as well as rules for how to um, have calls at certain times of the week. Uh, and as well as that, also adding a call widget to your website. Um, if you guys have other questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, Denny at Therathink is a great way to reach out. Um, you can also just go to our website, therathink.com, and look for the contact link and find us that way. And until then, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Cheers.